I'm such a sour loser. I mean, okay, dude, you want to get banned? Like, the position was completely fine. He was winning and then he misplayed it. Like, I mean, I'm sour for losing one game. Like, seriously? It was completely fine. I blundered. Goodbye, dude. Goodbye. No, you're, you're not even banned. You're just banned, dude. You're not even timed out. It's more fun to play Blitz. Bullet is too stressful. No Bjergsen. Bjergsen's not here yet. No, he's not. I just want to play some, uh, I just want to play some Blitz. Uh, one second. What are we at? Okay, let's go bishop b5. Okay, I'm gonna go f3 here. The ages for the prime, Hunter say no for the tier one, Echo PNW for the prime, Breezel with the tier one. Thank you so much. Thank you to KNVBRD for the prime, send do it for the two months. For my report for the two months, I think I take with the knight. Thank you to Andy Bizzle for the three, Holy CW for the three, Dimensh for the uh, two, and Morphe forever with the uh, with the um, seven. Thank you so much. Okay, let's Castrol. Why am I going to sneeze again? Oh, gosh. I think I need to get this, uh, this office room cleaned. My allergies are acting up on me now. Let's go Queenie one. No, I don't. I don't have Rona, but yeah, it's like I, I was sneezing a bit yesterday, and they haven't. They haven't actually like cleaned up this room. I haven't. They haven't disinfected it in a while, so maybe I should uh, ask them. Let's go Rook D one. Maybe I can just take or play H three. Oh come on, chat! Stop acting weird. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah, you, I can. I can feel the sarcasm from twenty miles away. Let's go Rook F2, Bishop G. Oh, actually, I missed that this hits the juicer on C2. Uh, I just forgot that, that was a pawn was hanging. All right, well, let's sack a queen. Let's have some fun. I'm also way down on the clock. Let's just sack a queen. Let's go here. Let's see, let's just go here. Maybe D3, E4, build the center. Oh, that's bad. He's got bishop c5. But maybe I get c5 and maybe... It's actually not so clear-cut, is it? I have knight e5 too. How clean is this, actually? Let's see. Because I have bishop d4. Thank you to Shadonman for the 12 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Shadonman. Not so sure this is so clean-cut for black. Actually, what was that? He's really misplaying this. He, he could have gone queen d2 and he was winning the game. Because now his bishop is actually trapped behind a pawn wall. So even though black is probably okay here, this is not... I'm not even sure black is necessarily winning anymore. Yeah, of course I go a3, b4, obviously. I'm really not sure. I feel like Vita has misplayed this quite significantly. He's still, he's still, in, he's still in fine shape. He's not going to lose, I don't think. But his bishop is dead behind the pawn wall. Like, this is actually not clean at all anymore. Um, first of all, I can just go rook c3. This is, like, actually, you're right. This is just a wooden shield. You guys are right. Um, let's go, like, knight f4, maybe? Yeah, like, I, I actually think I'm doing just fine. Very, very weird. Because he's just his bishop is just dead. He just has a dead bishop on a7 that can't ever come into the game. Now, I can't really win the game, probably, but I think I have a fortress after rook c1. Like, I would like for Vita to show me why he can win here. I just go, like, I mean, I just go... Let's see. I just go here, maybe? I'm just going to play h3, and I just... I don't see how Vita can win. His bishop is just dead. He's playing without a piece here. Let's go h4. Let's go... Um, I can always play G. Actually, I have a feeling this was actually not correct. Let's go here. Oh, I just blundered queen, queen b4. Queen g4. Wasn't paying attention. Was not paying attention. That was a big mistake. Let's take. Let's go here. Why did I take? I actually should have just done the other order. Yeah, Vita misplayed this, but now I just threw the game right back the other way. Um, it was so careless of me to... And I also have no time, I just realized. Let's take... Go here. 
Oh, I just wondered that. Yeah, I mean, this was a really poor game. I mean, it was it was definitely a draw with H3, but I just, I, I, I played H4, which was a very poor move. Very, very poor move. I was, well, I, it was a queen against a rook and bishop. I'm such a sour loser. I mean, okay, dude, you want to get banned? Like, the position was completely fine. He was winning and then he misplayed it. Like, I mean, I'm sour for losing one game. Like, seriously? It was completely fine. I blundered. Goodbye, dude. Goodbye. No, you're, you're not even banned. You're just banned, dude. You're not even timed out. Okay, let's just take and go knight d7. Like, I blunder and I'm and I'm sour. Like, get, get out of here, dude. Go get a life. Let's play e5. Let's play knight e... Let's just play knight takes e5 here. You know, if I'm beating... You know, if... I, if, 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 uh... If I if I make a mistake in the beat up blunders, you're not you're not gonna see me say that. And you're not gonna see people here in chat be be like saying saying things about him. So grow up. Let's play knight d3 here. I'm gonna play knight knight c5 here, and if takes, I just take. Let's go knight e6 next move. Play rook e8. Maybe it's B4. I don't know. It's a move. Um, I can play A6 maybe if B5 I just take. He probably goes He goes G4, which I actually think is a little bit loosening potentially. It's not really clear cut whether it's good or bad. I'm going to go Rook C8. F5 is not a threat because I just take the pawn. Plays A4. I thought I could maybe play B5 here. And I'm going to do B5. He takes, I take. If he takes, I take. I don't know if this is good, but it seems worth a shot just because there's a lot of pressure. I feel like he's loosened his pawns a little bit. G4, I think, was too too bold. Um, I think it was a little bit too bold by him. Now, I can take... I feel like there should be tricks. Actually, I didn't see King H1, which was uh, pretty bad on my part because I just didn't see King H1 at all as a move. Um, I can you know, go Queen C7. Maybe not... Actually, this, eh, this maybe is not... Somehow I just missed Queen King H1. It's insane, but I just didn't see King H1 at all. I guess takes I have Knight F3 maybe. Yeah, this this one actually I thought this was good, but I I just missed that he could move the king. I assume there was some tactical shot, but there just wasn't any tactical shot there. Thank you, Jesus Sol Lorenzo for the tier one. Thank you so much. I thought now Knight F3 maybe. It really feels like there should be some tactics here that work, but I honestly, I just don't see it. Maybe h5? Yeah, I think h5 makes sense, because now g5 knight, there's still, I know there's some tactic here. I don't see it right off, but it just, it, I can feel it in my bones that there's a tactic. Just take. Because I I feel like there's there's got to be a tactic in here. He's got queen c6, but rook f8. I don't see it right off. If f5, I just take and go f4. No, normally I wouldn't care if someone says something like that, but it's just like, we play one game. It's a it's a very interesting game. Um, and then some some lunatic thinks that I'm like being sour because like I'm, I'm mad that I blundered. Like, please. Please, dude. Oh, uh, wait, but this is just a blunder, right? I just take, and then I just take and check. Yeah, I just take, and he gets, uh, there's just a pyramid, pyramid tactic. Let's keep going. Let's play e4. Actually, I don't know why. Okay, let's play a bishop's opening. Okay, let's go here. Can I play a3? I think I'm just going to castle here. Now, knight g5 and knight c5, both both ways hit the, hit the juicer in the center, so it's very, uh, very reasonable. This is uh, suerte, uh, suerte. Okay, I thought I had knight g5 here, and I just pick up the bishop, and I get the bishop. I get the bishops. 
That doesn't mean this is great, but I think this should be good for white. I mean, I have queen f3 maybe. He can't take a rookie one. The castles, I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is okay for black, but it just, it doesn't look ideal. That being said, I do suspect this is probably completely fine for black. Just go c3 maybe. Actually, c3 is a terrible move. Although maybe I can I'm gonna try this. I think this is bad. I want d4. This feels really wrong somehow. I don't know if he can find a way to punish me for this, but this feels very wrong. This just, it does not feel right. I feel like there's some tactic or something for black. He does that. I mean, he has c5, but actually no, then I take and I go bishop f4, so it's... This, however, does not seem right. No, this is definitely wrong because I, he did something wrong. He did something wrong. I think he had a tactic there or something because now he's just he's just slightly worse since I got my build in the center. I think I just go here. He has to go back. I mean, this doesn't look right at all. Let's just go here and rookie one. Okay. I'll just go here. He has knight h4, but then just queen h3 or queen e4. Actually, queen e4 is pretty good. Let's just go rook a1. Again, just consolidate. Probably bishop f2 at some point. Let's go here. I want to go rook e6 as well. Goes knight d5. Logical. I can always play here. I can also just go c4 to kick the knight. So if I go c4, what's his idea? Knight f4, I have like bishop g3. Or d5 even. He's losing, his knights don't have oxygen. I also play a3. Knight c6, it doesn't look right. d5, knight e5, queen e3, b6 maybe. Hmm. Let's see. I also have queen e, actually wait, what about queen e4 here? Just to target the juicer. Because if he goes over, then there's gotta be some tactics. Goes f5, I mean this just does, it just really doesn't look right, but I also feel like I'm kind of misplaying this a little bit too. My idea is bishop a4 here, I think. Okay, I think I play h3. I don't know if it's necessary, but I assume I do it. Let's go here. Because now d5 is an epic threat with the pin. I think this is just close to loss for black now. Tactics are important, yeah. Let's just go here. He goes knight e5, I go queen e3, and he, he wants some cheese with knight g4 in the pin, but it's no good. It's just no good, because I have this. Okay, this cannot possibly be good. I just go here. Yeah, I mean, this is just GG's. Okay, he goes there. I can play c5 here. I can also just take. And just, I mean, I guess just c5 is good. C6. I mean, I can even just take the pawn. I don't think I will, but I can. I think I'm going to go here instead. Now I can take the pawn. I can also take the knight. I will just take the pawn. Oh, I gave him queen c4, but I just go back to d1. Now just queen d2, and that's all she wrote. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go g6, bishop g7. Let's play the uh, Jinji Indian. They call this the Prodactyl, the beef eater variation. This is not the correct name of the opening. I'm probably going to get sauce. I'm playing a line that loses by force, but we'll see. This is not the, I, whatever the chess.com is smoking, they've got the line wrong. This is not called the beef eater. Um, so, uh, so yeah, they, they got this all wrong. Okay, I go queen f8. Now, I thought I had knight e4 actually as an idea. d6 is no good. I'm just going to sack a juice, sack an exchange here. Yeah, I don't know why they call this the beef eater, but they call it the paradactyl, like beef eater. I know that's just nonsense, but for some reason, chess.com comes up with weird names for some of these openings. I think I'm going to go here and just take the pawn, maybe. Oh, he's got queen c2, I guess. But if I check knight d2, yeah, I, uh, Vita's probably too good of a player to, to play this kind of trash against. 
Oh, that's actually, I think, a strange move. So now I go here on F4. Oh, can he sack? Can he sack his queen? Oh, he can sack his queen, but I don't know if it's actually good. For the memes, he should, but I don't think he will, because it probably isn't great since he loses the rook on h3 at the end. Bishop g7 is winning after knight e4. Yeah, I mean, Vita's too good of a player. I shouldn't be playing this kind of trash against him. He goes there. Wow. I mean, I actually feel like my position is improving dramatically. He has to go like queen c3, knight e5. I don't actually know how bad my position is now. It's kind of insane. I could have gone knight f5 too. Okay, he goes rook h4 now. It's actually a good move. I, I didn't... For some reason, I didn't think he could do that. g5 takes knight... Wait, but I have knight f8 and queen b2 or something? Oh, I just actually... Whoa, I didn't even see rook g4. What am I smoking today? Wow, I didn't even see rook g4. That's insane. Hmm. Let's go here and bishop a4 maybe. Yeah, he's a little bit too good. He's a little bit too good for this this garbage. Although queen c3, maybe I can trade and go knight f5 or something. Let's just do it and go here. I'm sure I'm losing here, but I, I have no choice. It goes like knight e4 probably. King f7 takes. This is pretty terrible. Thank you to Ben Friggle for the prime. Thank you so much. I should not have played this. This uh, this beef eater is is as bad as its name sounds. <laughs> G4, king e5. I mean, I'm obviously losing, but how losing am I is really the question. Plays e3. I can obviously take with the knight. If I take and go... Wait, wait, wait. How clean is this, actually? Wait a second. If I go knight f5 and king... Maybe I just go here? How clean is this? Wait. Oh, G4. Oh, G4 is a great move. I missed G4 completely. G4 is a fantastic move. I didn't even see it. That's a game, I think. Because his pawns are too his pawns are way too fast now. Let's try this maybe. Nah, it's just no good. Funny thing is if I if I didn't play knight d7, if I went bishop f5 first, I think I was actually very much in the game. Which is just what's weird. But I mean this is yeah, this is just losing by Forrest. He's too good he's too good of a player to play this junk against, so I, I just have to play something better than that. TSM was the number one most valuable esports org. No, I haven't, but they spent a lot of money um on um on uh Yeah, it's he's 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 too good. There's certain players who that opening just doesn't work against, and um he's one of them. Let's go G4 knight h4. Um Something better. B3, B3 doesn't lose by fours. That opening the beef eater, if you play that H4, that whole queen C3, it, it is literally losing by fours. Like, there's nothing you can do. So, um, yeah. Play the beef eater against a Hindu. Very funny. Although, I think Vita actually does eat meat. I, I don't think he's... Um, I'm pretty sure he eats meat, unless I'm crazy. Why am I not using my Hikar on Twitch for garbage openings? Well, I mean, we're just we're just playing Blitz. And also, this is, like, legit. Like, just playing beat it. Thank you to Pikachu for the Prime, Mars Poppy for the Prime. Thank you to Ben Friggle again for the Prime, Sepulcher for the Prime, Jesus Lorenzo for the Tier 1, Still Still a Fox for the uh, Tier 1 Person Journalist for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Can obviously castle. I think I will castle because probably he has to castle too. I don't think he can go this way with, with, the, with his pawn on, on A5. So it's, he kind of has to do the same thing. Now G5 is obviously a move. I don't like it. I can play E4. I'll just go... Um, I think I'll just go queen c2. Maybe d4, maybe f4 at some point. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. I'll just play rookie one. Just keep it very chill, low key. Now I can obviously play f3. I think I should have gone f4. I don't know why I did f3. Goes bishop f8. Now I do have d4 at some moment. Do I want to gambit a pawn here or not is also a question. I can also play... No, e4 isn't... Is e4 bad? Probably it is. I'm just going to move my king. Let's go... Yeah, th this one's not going my way. Oh, wait. No, but he actually blundered because I have f4, e4 here. 
not blundered, but he somehow he inadvertently gave me something he shouldn't have given me. He has b5, but then I go like queen c1. Or I can actually just take, take, probably, and take. Takes, takes. Yeah, it should be okay. Yeah, I, I, no, after after it was just not my intention. <laughs> I mean, plain and simple. Thank you, Yokichi, for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, 100 ping for the drink. Rokujuma. Uh, wait, let's take and let's take. Thank you, Shadonman, for the 12 months. Thank you so much. The funny thing is, somehow my position is actually not, not bad. It should be much worse. I can also play a4. I don't really care about a4 though, because I'll just take. I want to go rook f3. I should have done it right away, f6 and then g5, of course. Very poor. Uh h4 is a move. Maybe just queen f2. Actually, wait, but wait, that's wrong. Yeah, he goes rook e7. Let's go here, here. Although I just gave him rook a2, which I didn't mean to give him either. Yeah. Okay, he goes b6, so we trade it all down. I can obviously play d4. I think I will. Just my position is really bad. I'm not playing this very well. So I just want to bail it out, make the draw, and then move on to the next game. Because this, this one's not not really very good. Not attractive. Let's put it that way. Let's go. I guess just here. I mean, mind you, it's an it's an end game. So two bishops if long term, I can somehow reroute. Maybe I have a chance. Although realistically, this is a pretty easy draw for Black. Maybe just like here. Let's go here, maybe. Hit the knight. If rook h3, I think I just take. Okay, it goes bishop d6. Let's go rook f1. Thank you to Spicy Juicy for the tier one. Hi, Ju for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let's go here, maybe. Hit the queen. Okay, queen e6 is logical. Maybe let's just go rook d Yeah, let's just make the draw. I don't like my position. I don't like the time situation. I don't like the piece placement either. So it's it's better just be solid and make the draw here and then move on to the next game. Let's go here. I mean, he has queen e5 and then queen f3 maybe. Okay. I guess he just wants to make a draw. I'm going to play h4. I'm sure this is bad, but I have an advantage on the clock. So let's just go for it. Let's go here. I mean, how bad is this, I wonder? This is obviously not, not, okay. His knight is kind of weirdly misplaced, I think. Let's go here. Wow, f6 I think is a big mistake. Maybe, maybe it's not a mistake, but I don't trust it somehow. Hmm. Wait, wait, I just got to move. What am I doing? That was a terrible move, too. I gave him 95. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to flag him, though. Let's take. Oh, I just blundered this. Jeez. Let's Uh, it's, it's fine. Okay, let's keep going. Those moves faster, faster. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That was for that was for my good friend in chat who who felt like insulting me earlier. Let's do the same thing. Or no, let's play queen a five right away. That was for my good friend in chat, Mister whatever his name was. <laughs> Still mad. <laughs> Can't even meet. I mean, I just, I realized that I was up on the clock, so I, I didn't even care at that point. 
That was my that was for my good friend, my good friend in chat who said I'm like I'm so mad, I'm so 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 salty, I'm such a sour loser. That was for you, my man, just for you. Okay, let's go 94 here. <laughs> Don't be sour. <laughs> let's go here, knight of six. Let's go here. Why are you still playing this if it loses by force? Well, I played a different order this time to to change it up. And this time I actually got a pretty good position. This actually is a great position that I got here. Um, or no, it's great is uh, great is the wrong word. It's not it's not great, but it's it's not losing. Just I mean, let's go here. Yeah, this one is playable. This is called the Jinji Indian. I thought technically now now because I played Queen A5 first, it's called the Patera Nodon variation instead of the. Um, Instead of the beef eater, like, don't ask me why, but apparently that's what they call it now. Like, I don't even... The the name, I, I always thought this was called the Jinji Indian. Not Ginger Indian. Jinji. Dzindi. Like, like the uh, the famous uh, Russian Grandmaster Jinji. Jinji Hashvili. He did a, he did a whole opening opening series on it. So that's why I always thought this was the Jinji, opening, Jinji Indian. And now, like, they're calling it all these weird, like, dinosaur names. I don't know if G5 is right, but I'm going to play it. Like Patera Dindon, is that a kind of dinosaur, you guys? Let's go here. That's was that's a dinosaur, right? Pteranodon or something. Let's go here. He can take. Oh, I just blunder, but hmm. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go here and target the juicer. Please respect him. He is good. I mean, I have a lot of respect for um. For for Vita. he he's he's probably the second best. I, but in my book, even if ratings don't reflect it, he's the second best Indian player by far. Um, I mean, he by far and away, in terms of like the understanding of the game, he's the second best Indian. I can't. I mean, I, I just I don't think there's anyone else who's as good as him. Like Hari Krishna might might have a higher rating, but I I think that Vita's understanding is vastly superior. First best is obviously the legend, the myth. The man, the myth, the greatest Indian chess player. I mean, like one of the greatest Indians of all time, frankly. Uh, you know, Vishwanathan and Anand, obviously. Um, let's go rookie eight. Oh, does Vita have a higher rating than Hari now? He does? Ah, okay. I didn't know that. But yeah, I mean, basically, yes, I consider Vita to be the uh, second best player. And I always thought it was weird that Hare Krishna had a higher rating because I, I thought Vita's understanding was always vastly superior if I'm being objective. Let's just take and go here. Hit the juicer, hit the juicers. Just Oh, he's got Bishop C4. Stupid, I didn't even see that, wow. I am missing a lot of stuff today. I'm not happy about it, but whatever. Let's go here. My Pteranodon is named Jinji. Very funny. Let's go here. Now I'm just up a juicer, though, and I'm much better. This should be winning. D5 next move. He's got... Why did I do this? He's got Rook H7 now. He doesn't take advantage, fortunately. I can play c4. I can play rook h8 also. I think I'm going to trade the rooks here. Of course, I take. He takes, obviously. I think I just go here, and I think I'm doing very, very well now. I should be much better. Maybe not winning, but I should be much better in these end games. Just take and go like here, here, maybe. Or rook f8. I don't know which. I go here and rook f2. Oh, I also have check and dip back, actually. So he, he can't take, so I check, come up, and take with a check. Danny boy. That's a good... Is that a good move? It's definitely a move to keep the game alive. He's, he's struggling here, so I like the idea. Um, let's go here. I think I just... Oh, ah, I was about to check. Oh, my gosh. I was about to make a check and lose. I was about to check, and he just... Oh, my gosh. That... What is wrong with me? Jeez, what am I doing? So... Oh, and I, I'm, I'm starting to move too slow also.
And now I just win e2 and king f2 and rook d5 and that's game over. Oh, let's keep playing b3. I got a good position. Let's go d3, knight d2. Rook f1 where? No, I was about to play rook f1 and lose the game. Like I literally don't know how I how I didn't do how I didn't do that. I mean, I he he misplayed the opening because again, as I said, this variation is losing. But I modified it so that I thought maybe I could like trick him. I can't adopt Vita. He's way too good to be adopted. You guys, you guys are crazy if you think I can adopt Vita. There's like no chance of that. I mean, maybe if he got on tilt, it's possible, but he'd have to he'd have to really like he'd have to lose like four in a row and get completely on tilt. That's the only way it could happen. But Vita's a very calm kind of guy generally, so I don't think he could he could ever be that he could ever he would ever be that on tilt. That's a mistake. Because now if he if he pushes, which is what he wants to create create the connect four. Um, he gets forked, so he has to actually take, take, and it's pretty ugly, I think. And also just take. Hmm. Now I know this is not correct the way that he's played this, um, but I don't have a good way to punish him. So maybe f4, maybe just knight f3. Maybe I just castrol. I'm just gonna castrol. Yeah, Fedosev. No, but the reason that I almost adopted Fedosev is Fedosev went on hard tilt. He didn't even go on like kind of tilt. He went on the hard tilt. Let's just take with the king. Yeah, let's just go for it. I don't know if this is right, but it feels right. I think I can play knight of three. And... Let's just go for it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm up by two. Let's just go for the big big attack. I mean, Fedo save and Blitz should be better than Vita, but the thing is, Vita won't ever go on tilt the way that Fedo save did. Like, Fedo save just lost his mind completely. Like, he couldn't handle the uh, the connection issues, all these little things. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just he he just went so completely on tilt. And and uh, and there's no way that Vita Vita might tilt, but he's not he's not gonna have a hard tilt. Like, that's the difference is that um, is that Fedo save did a did a hard tilt. Just take. And actually, I was gonna say with Fedosev against me, he was actually correct to not take the um to not take the draws in in those games, because he was losing the match so badly that like I mean he felt like he had to do something, and I think that was the right mentality. It's just unfortunately it never quite worked out. Um, let's go here, target the juicer. I mean, I played well against I played well against him. Don't don't get me wrong. But I, I thought that I mean he he went on a hard tilt and that was why he um that was why things really didn't work out for him. Oh he's just got knight before that's nice. I didn't even see er But I have some some something maybe. He's just got rook f seven. He actually is a little bit lucky. I think he he didn't realize that my queen gets so active, but I don't have anything good here. Um not rook d1. How do I do this? I'm gonna go knight d4 here. If knight f2, I have rook f1 and there's big pressure. Plays rook d8, I just go queen a5 and bishop d5. It's actually not as obvious as it, as it should be. Okay, let's just take. Okay, he goes b6, so of course I go queen b5. If knight f2, I go rook f1. Knight e4, I just take. Wow, I mean, this looks so dangerous. Let's go here. I'm kind of amazed he played rook d7. That looks like it. Wait, what? Rook h8? He's so lucky. He's actually... Oh, come on, dude. Dude, splash some water in your face, dude. You're better than this. Splash some water in your face, man. Come on. Let's go g6. Let's go bishop g7. No, I mean, that was ridiculous. No, I mean, that that actually, that could tilt him. Yes, that, I realize as soon as I say he can't tilt, that game is a game that could tilt him. Yeah, because that was um, that was really, really bad. That was really bad for Vita. Let's go here in 87. He might tilt. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not disrespecting him. I'm saying that I think he's a great player, so I expect him to play better moves. That, no, if, if, if I was being disrespectful, I would say it quite differently. But I mean, he's a, he's a really really good player, so I just I expect him to play better than that. That's all.
Fabiano uh, can tilt. I, I think Fabiano and Blitz can tilt, but uh, and Fabiano doesn't play as much Blitz as a lot of other players. Let's just take. Maybe I just go Knight of Six. I don't know if I put the Knight on F6 or E7 here. I'm really not sure. You can also play C5. This is a Danya kind of position. I don't normally play these positions all that well with opposite side attacks, especially here where I think my attack is a lot slower, but we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna do this. C5 maybe. It's gotta go to E2, I think. D5 I just take. D5 looks wrong. Um, so it's E2 or A4. I still think I can play C5 maybe. I can also go Bishop C6 here. Aha, uh -huh, maybe here and takes. Rook B8, Knight D7. I don't really know if this is good or not, but at least now I get my kind of my attacking chances. I was, oh, wait a second. I want to go for something nasty. Do I have some, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. I feel like there's some trick here. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Here, 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 here or there. Oh, I feel like there should be a tactic. There should be a tactic here, but it, I don't quite see it. I, I mean, I'm already down on the clock. Oh, there's, I bet there's some tactic here, but I don't have the time. I'm sure there's some tactic that, it, oh, it, it just doesn't work. Whatever, whatever, I just have to move. Let's go here. I'm, I felt like there should be some tactic there, but I just don't see it. Let's go here. Got to line up something on the diags now. I felt like there should have been a tactic there. I don't know what that does. Let's just go here, maybe. I mean, he can play C4, but okay, whatever. I'll just go C5. If he plays this correctly, he's going to win here because now I, lo I missed the boat. I had something. I'm sure I had something there. Yeah, he's got what? Queen there, rook C6. I missed the boat. Actually, why did I not take with the pawn and go rook b6? I'm, I'm an idiot. Well, let's go here. Let's go. Knight d4, knight b. Actually, I'm going to go to b4. The good news is, even though I'm completely lost here, it's an easy position to play. And so Vita's going to have to use a lot of time here proving it. Because I get, I get a lot of quick attacks on the king's side. Okay, I go just here. I could have played rook a8. I'm so stupid. Rook a8 was such an obvious move there. Ugh. Okay, I guess I just take. Let's play Daniel style here. C4. I think this will be my last game. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Oh, that's a real bummer. Okay. But now I go here and I do this. Oh, I could have played 95 first. But still, very sharp position. Wait a second. What is this? Okay, three bishop d4. Oh, I've got... Okay, let's just go here. And queen c7. And knight c4. Let's go here. Yeah, now I win the game. So when he takes, I take and I hit both. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's... Oh, yeah, it's 11 p.m. That's true. It is... Actually, I forgot. Yeah. The time zones are not not helpful, which is why I haven't done anything with Same because like it's yeah it, because it's, it's so early because it's always so early for me and I'm like I'm never awake at like 5 a.m. So that's why I haven't been able to do something with Same. Yeah, we get the win. Um, I do want to see did I miss something? Big shout out to Vita by the way. Make sure to check out his um, check out Vita's um, uh, check out Vita's uh. Um, YouTube channel as well if you if you have a chance. Uh, no, I know the time zones, but I mean like the that's always the problem is like when I want to consider doing some with Samay, it's like I have to do something at like 5 a.m. my time, and it's just like it's so brutal. No, no, I'm not ignoring Samay at all. No, it's it's the time zones combined with the fact that these tournaments, and it's just it's brutal on me. Um, you guys are not gonna like this. Look at this percentage. We are some purely we're some real pro chess players. 48, 41.5% and 58%. Now that's what I call some very very, very uh, good chess, huh? Um, yeah. <laughs> so bad. <laughs>
bad. <laughs> this is so bad by both of us. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so let's let's go to the analysis. Let's let's go to the videotape, as they say. Um, okay, all standard. Oh, bishop c6 is wrong. Okay. What was better? Knight d3 was better. Oh, so there there was an attack. Because I thought what I could do is I could do like this, 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 this takes in here. But I guess like like queen b8, he just moves the rook. Yeah, he just wins. So it's complete bunk. Just bishop d4. Yeah, I mean, it's all just, yeah. So I do this. Rook b5 is good, but a b yeah, a b5 is better, right? Yeah, but it's still apparently good for white. So I take, he takes. Okay, rook b8 was better, okay. Yeah, and rook a6 is a, is a terrible move. I go rook a8, I win the game, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm so bad at chess. This is what I said as soon as I played rook, eight, rook a6, is that rook a8 is great, because when he takes, I go here. And there's just a checkmate. Yeah, so I go here. Okay. Okay, so B4 is... Okay. B4 is a really poor move. Um, okay. But it's already... Yeah, it's already lost, though. So basically, I mean, as soon as he plays B4, it just it goes out the window. Thank you, DN Drizzle, for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. And then, yeah. What? 95 is a... 95 is, oh, d5 is, wait, what? Oh, no, it's not a blunder. It's still winning. It's still winning. It's still minus three. Okay, the computer's on, the computer's insane. It's not actually a blunder. It's just that if I go d5, I win on the spot because of the pin on the diagonal. Um, okay, yeah, so it was, it was okay. It drizzle, right? Oh, denizzle. Sorry, denizzle. Sorry, I saw drizzle. Sorry. Sorry, denizzle. Uh, sorry about that. Um, yeah. Sorry, yeah, okay, um, sorry. All right, so we, so yeah, I mean, it was like, uh, it's, um, yeah, it's it's a win, but I mean, this is a, this is what I call superb chess, superb, not, and you guys are right, this was not even 100% combined, not even 100% combined, so uh, yeah, this, I wonder how many games I have where I have an accuracy that's this low, I bet it's not that many, um, but yeah.